Good day folks. Um, just another update. Just so you know I've been growing Anona trees for well, quite a few years. I don't even know how many years actually. But I know a good bit about them. If you look at this tree here, look at these leaves. They look a little yellowish, yellowish. All curved down. Downward curving. Um, looking like there's something wrong with the tree. Well, there actually is and was something wrong with the tree. And what it was was these little green bugs that fly that are underneath the leaves doing damage to them. I don't know if they're thrips, lace wings, or what, but uh, they do damage to them and you don't notice them. You don't see them. They don't sit on the tree while you're looking at it, so you can't notice it while they're doing the damage. The way to get rid of them is soap and water or malathion or neem oil. And it does take care of them. So if you see this kind of problem, you'll know why. And in a minute, I'll show you uh, a tree that is healthy, which I have another one in the back. But anyhow, this one's coming back. If you look at these leaves, how they look, well, the leaves should look like that one, large and straight, not curved down, not yellowing. But I'll show you the healthy tree in a minute. Just uh, some more info on the Anonas. Once you get enough of them pollinated, the tree slows down on flower production. And a tree can only hold about so many fruit depending on its size. So if you try to pollinate more, that's okay. But the tree will abort some of them. That's just the way it goes. Let me get over to the other tree and show you now. Okay, here's another Anona. This one is healthy. You can look at the leaves here and see that. Large leaves, green, even colored. Not curving down, at least not severely curving down. This tree in the very beginning was infested as well and I treated it and it took care of it a lot earlier. I didn't think the other one had an issue until it got much worse and I actually started to notice. Now I've got in this yard about 70 different fruit trees and I'll be making a video on those fruit trees later. But for right now this is just an update on the Anonas. And this tree is producing. It has fruit on it. I've been pollinating, pollinating it regularly. And it's got more flowers coming out while the other tree has slowed down in flower production because I've got plenty of fruit set on it already. But anyhow, that's a small tree. It's only about four, maybe, well, close to six foot tall if you count those tall branches. But the cluster's not very big. Still, it's going to produce a good amount of fruit. I expect at least 10 or 15 fruit from it. And about 20 or 30 from the other one. That's it. Checking out until the next video.